How's it going fam? Welcome back to Erica ZDC and today we're doing a pocket dump. I love doing these about once a month. Nothing really changes too much in the summertime, but it's just a fun video to make. So I figured I would show you what's in my pockets today. And we're just chilling. I just worked an eight hour shift. Sorry, I'm taking my Crocs off right now so that I can sit crisscross apple sauce here. Um, <laughs> we're like in jammies. I just worked an eight hour shift. Work is crazy right now. So excuse the, the relaxed attire, but if you're watching my channel, I don't think you give a shit about any of that anyway. So let's uh, go over what was in the pockets today. I'm not gonna show you chapstick because it's boring. We do have the same pen that I've been carrying for a really long time, the Tactile Turn Mini Slim Bolt Action Pen. I just haven't found the need for anything else. I really dig this pen. Very well made. I use it all day, every day. That's honestly probably what I use most at work as a pen because we just record so many things about the dogs. Um, when they go potty, what they're eating, just their interactions with the other dogs, everything gets recorded. So a pen, always got one of those on me and I love this one by Tactile Turn. It's a very good pen. Then the wallet that hasn't changed in over a year now. This is the set. I was going to say the sale face goods. <laughs> I'm not even drinking. I'm not even drinking tonight. Fail safe goods. <laughs> Dyslexia at its best, right? Fail safe goods sidewinder. This is a really nice wallet. I have no desire to change this out. I've been carrying this for over a year. I put it in my front right pocket. You're not supposed to sit on your wallet. Don't put it on your butt. It throws your back off, okay? Put it in your front pocket or something or a cargo pocket. But this thing is, look at how beat up this thing is. Looks like it's gone to war and back. It's just so cool. Really, really nice. This is in Crazy Horse leather, and I think it just looks fantastic. It's very slim, very minimalistic. I keep my cash in the middle, credit cards there, ID on the back with band-aids. What else do I need? Nothing. What more do you need? Nothing. Swiss Army knife. Same one as always. Victorinox Super Tinker. I do have a review on this. It's the best Swiss Army knife that I have found for me. I'm typically floating between being a minimalist and someone who is practical. So I try to carry like enough tools to help not only myself, but other people, but in the smallest form factor that I can. I'm not carrying three and a half pounds of gear that I used to, you know, three years ago. I just try to keep it as minimalistic as possible, but fully capable of helping me and other people. And this is what I have found so far. The Super Tinker has everything that I need, nothing that I don't. I never find myself wishing that I had other tools. It's very, very nice. And it's not too big. I mean, it's a little thick for a Swiss Army knife, but it's really not that bad. And yes, I do use the parcel hook, surprisingly. EDC flashlight is the Titan Plus from Surefire. This is an American-made little EDC light. They are very pricey, but they're also very well-made and they work really well. I've never had a Surefire light fail me. I have the, the regular Titan and this one, and this one is just very, very cool. Really small. It's a hair shorter than the Streamlight Micro Stream, so you can just picture how tiny this really is. Um, it's a little heavier, though. And I have a little Urban Carver's Lantern bead on there in Ultum. This is a twist on, not a button. And it did come with a clip, but I didn't really like the clip, so I just took it off. But yeah, this is a little twisty light. Really like that one. For the traditional, what do we have? I don't know if I've showed this to you guys yet. This is a Richter Knives slip, and this is called the Nine. This is one of his new designs. I'm so sorry. Dogs are more important than knives, and I'm really hoping that I can just like quickly get Jasmine on here. That's Jasmine. She's so cute. She likes coming out here when I record, and she's actually like a good girl, so I can have her out here. Um, that's Nikki's dog. 
This is the nine slip from Richter Knives. Very cool. I really like the stitching. I like this kind of American flag looking deal here. This is in denim grid leather. Look at that. Look at that text. Oh, I caught it. Huh. Ben, I got you. <laughs> Look at this texture though. That is very nice. And inside, what do we have having a little sleepover? A little goo goo and a little sleeping bag. I'm like delusional laughter today. You know what? Because we're just chilling, the, the president of the board of my work was hanging out with me the entire day. And you know, like at work when you're used to just doing your own thing, I'm usually alone on Sundays, like for the whole eight hours, like nobody bothers me. And you know when you have to like put on the happy face and like, pretend that you like other people actually this guy's really cool i do like him but it, you know what i'm saying you gotta you gotta like interact and you gotta be happy and cheery and talk for eight hours or whatever and it's just a lot it's just draining so i'm exhausted and delusional because i'm not used to talking to people on sundays and my poor brain had to be friends with somebody <laughs> so i'm i'm out of it anyway in there, we do have a chestnut bone CV Saudi Junior. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'm trying to pick up the shiny edge that it has. I've used it since I put this edge on, so the, the edge itself has a little bit of a patina, but you can see it has my edge on it, not the edge that a case knife would come with. I really widened that bevel. And it enhanced the edge retention and cutting performance quite a bit. They don't make this anymore. You can't really get these unless you get them on the secondary. However, Case does make a peach seed, jig bone, mahogany color Case Sodbuster Jr. in, mm, is it 1095 or is it carbon? It's carbon steel. It's, I think it's in carbon steel not CV, carbon seal. There's a difference between all of them. And those are still being made and continuously released. So if you like the looks of this, you can get the mahogany one and it's just a little bit darker and more of a like brownish color, but still very cool. And it might satisfy your craving for this discontinued color. But look at the teeners. Ding, 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 ling, ling, ding, ding. Teener town, here we come. Look at that. Those are the absolute teeners. Um, fruit roll up sticky, check. Whew. Not cherry flavored. Um, arsenic flavored. <laughs> that tastes horrible. But she's got the teeners. Patina, patina, patina. All right, and the last thing I have is more teener town goodness. The Spyderco Native 5 Lightweight in Maximit that I've been testing. Um, there's a good amount of rust on this, honestly, and I think that's from either getting caught in the rainstorm the other day or sweat in my pocket. But you can see that is a huge rust spot. And then really from, from here forward on the knife up, you know, moving into the front end, that's just all rusted. And it's like micro rust, but it's definitely there. This thing is looking pretty gnarly. I'm loving this though, man. I am really loving testing this. I'm gonna do a video comparing Maximit to K390 because a lot of people are asking about that. The differences, the similarities, blah, blah, blah. So I'll make a video on that, but um, yeah, Maximit, absolutely crushing it. And it has that really cool pocket clip that is from lynch northwest it is specifically made for this knife and the color is industrial heat finish and that's all i had that's all i had on me i'm kind of excited for fall because i like when i can carry you know one or two more fun things because you're wearing carhartts or levi's and i wear levi's sometimes in the summer but lately it's just been way too hot so i'm wearing gym shorts Beep, beep. <laughs> um, all this stuff carries just fine in it. 
it doesn't weigh me down surprisingly but that's all I've got for you guys today I gotta go like relax get some brain cells purchased on the black market because I ain't got none <laughs> um please check out Richter knives Michael Richter makes the world's best leather slips we want him doing leather work full time by the end of the year and we are the ones that are going to get him there so you can hit him up in his Instagram DMs, get on his books, place an order for one of these leather slips. He also does custom leather work. He can mimic just about any texture on a knife. If you have covers on a traditional knife and you want a slip with the color and texture to match, he can typically mimic that just a heads up he can do just about anything and he has some really cool stamps too so um i will put his youtube channel down in the description below but like i said you contact him on instagram to get on his books to place an order for a slip that's all i've got for you guys today i love you guys so much go use your shit oh we got two use your shits i mean technically all of it is use your shit but you guys like the knives the most Go use your shit. Go visit Teener Town. Learn how to sharpen your knives. And I will see you on the next video. I love you all very, very much. Take care.